For an AP projection of the femur, place the patient in the supine position. Center the affected thigh to the midline of the IR. Similar to the tib-fib, the patient is often too tall to include the entire femur. Therefore, two image plates may be necessary. When doing so, include the joint closest to the area of interest with the largest cassette. For the projection of the distal femur, rotate the patient's limb internally to place it in the true anatomic position. Place the bottom of the IR two inches below the knee joint. For the projection of the proximal femur, which must include the hip joint, place the top of the IR at the level of the as is. Rotate the limb internally 10 to 15 degrees to place the femoral neck in profile. With either projection, typically the central ray is perpendicular to the mid femur and the center of the IR. If performed properly, there should be evidence of proper collimation. The entire hip joint should be visible and the greater trochanter should be in profile. Also, take note of the lesser trochanter. If the leg is rotated properly, the lesser trochanter should just barely be seen if seen at all. And any time an orthopedic appliance is present, it should be seen in its entirety as in seen in image B. When examining the distal femur, the entire knee joint should be visible, as well as the knee should show no rotation.